All right. And we are, we are live. All right. Are you going to stop sharing the screen or? Stop sharing the screen and there we go. Bam. Bam. So we'll give everybody a, a 30 seconds to get on. Does that sound okay? Sounds awesome. 30, 32. I'd give them 32 seconds. I think 32 seconds. That. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Sharon, how's, how's your boy Dean doing? Dude, you know, you know, Dean, he's, he's always just, he's always just crushing, man. Yeah. Dean's got this, this magical ability of always showing up and doing, he, 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 you know, there's a lot of people that have work ethic. That guy, that guy can work. It's like, yeah. it's nonstop, always smile on his face, shows up, does good work every single day. It's very irritating. <laughs> I love it. It's a superpower for sure. Oh I love my God. It. It's like, it's like, you know, you just did all this yesterday. He wakes up and does it all over again. It's so amazing. It's amazing. So I'm very grateful for him. And he's, you know, I just love, I love anybody that loves to show up and work their faces off. Right. It's amazing. Yeah. Chris Leeper. What's up? I haven't seen you in so long, man. Gonna, gonna crush it for Mr. Conklin today. All right. Let's Hang with us. Bring it. Peter, you want to get us started? Yeah, let's go. So uh, welcome everybody at Coldwell Banker from across the world. Um, we have a treat today. Thank you, Todd, for getting Sharon to join us today. Um, excited to hear the story and have you, have you share all your, all your secrets. Yeah, for go. sure, for sure, right? Absolutely. And hey, again, just a special shout out to, to you know, blog and mob and log and you know, Rick Gregory and Prudell and so many guys are just absolutely bringing the heat on this whole deal. Uh, Blankenship, um, of course, our, our boy Chuck uh, and Peter here. Again, thank you so much. The ability to bring all of these people together gives us this opportunity to get the Sharons of the world to get on here and just absolutely bring the heat. So um, I do... I do get to introduce my man, Sharon, full disclosure. I kind of like him. He's kind of a friend of mine. So I might pour it on a little bit thick, but that's all right. That's okay. It's all good. Um, I, I first met Sharon, gosh, I don't know what, how many years ago it was, but at the time um, he had purchased a little company, a little $300 million in sales company um, in California over a five year period of time. He grew that to, I don't know, 3.5 billion. And yes, I was with a B billion. Um, he did it, in, in my opinion, he did it in a way that was different than what the way most people do it. He did it in a way that was led by heart, and I love heart. You all know exactly what I'm talking about right now. Uh, so so uh, he, he sold that just for, for a little bit of money, um, and we won't really talk about that, but uh, he sold that for a little bit of money. Uh, he, he then went out because he's a serial entrepreneur and a complete whack job went out and started a company called Kingston Lane. And if you don't know Kingston Lane, you need to go right there right now. Um, that's completely out of control. That product is amazing and it's got an incredible training component to it. Um, and, and now he's basically providing just any piece of knowledge as, a, as an entrepreneur, um, for, as an operator that you could possibly want. He's providing it for free. Uh, so, so you need to go to Sharon, uh, uh, com, right? That's his website. Uh, you can subscribe to his, his newsletter there every single day. I get some absolute gold from him. Um, and then of course his, his real superpower and don't tell him I said this is this thing called Instagram. This guy about nine or 10 months ago decided that he was going to do something crazy. He was going to start over. So he went from zero, zero to right now. I didn't look today, man, but it, it's over 300,000. Yeah. followers in nine or 10 months, folks. So to say that Sharon uh, has some superpowers, it would be an understatement. I, I kind of look at him as an operational genius. Um, I am certainly super stoked that you are on this call. And, and folks, I just want to be perfectly honest. There are a lot of people out there talking about social media and do this and do this. I asked Sharon to take the gloves off today. Just absolutely bring the heat, brother. So thanks for being here, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. And I, uh, it's going to be fun here. Peter and Todd, you, you guys have done an awesome job putting all this together. And the best part is you don't need to do this. 
And that's what I want to recognize you for. You don't need to do this. You don't need to show up. You don't need to have any of this going on. In fact, you can just chill. You can, you can go into your offices and pretend like you're working. You can do whatever you want. But right now, what you're saying is, hey, we're going to go. We're going to create. We're going to find great people. We're going to bring great talent. And we're going to share it with the world. Why? Because we want good things to happen because we know that when we put a positive pebble in the pond, amazing things start to happen. So big kudos to um, you know, Peter and to you, Todd, for your leadership for making this happen across the board. So thanks for, thanks for having me. Um, if it's cool with you, I'd like to maybe sh share some slides and, and, and fire up on, a, on our topic today. Absolutely. So let's And hey, guys, I know I'm, before you even start, okay, yes, we will get slides. Yes, we will record this. Yes, we will share this. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to go to Instagram. It's Todd P. Conklin. All right, connect with me on Instagram there. I'm going to get you guys the slides. All right, there you go. Awesome. Cool. So uh, I think you can see, as I'm going to hit share on the main screen here. I'll, um, I know Peter and uh, Todd are going to look at, I look at some comments and all of that good stuff. So I will uh, get this puppy shared and uh, let's, let's, fire, let's fire her up. So here we go. All right. So I'm assuming you can see my screen, yes. right? Cool. Awesome. Let's, uh, let, so, so before we even get started, I got to tell you this. Um, it, so so it, it's pretty amazing that the world has changed so much, Todd. And the world has changed because of great people and people change the world. And I want to talk about one person that changes the world a lot. And for those uh -oh. of you who don't know, you know, um, Todd won't talk about this stuff because it's super important. Uh, Real Trends, a great source in the industry named Todd, one of the game changers. So in the last, in like a four to five year period, who has been the person that has actually led insane growth in their organization, done it with extreme heart and done it what in five states, like at the same time, like that's insane. You know, I, I had, I had operations up and down the California coast and I couldn't keep up with that all in one state with one state's regulations, all that's California, extremely litigious, but I can even keep up with one state and you have to keep up with multiple states, manage growth, manage teams. So who we should be super thankful for the people that we are connected to. So big shout out and a lot of recognition for Todd, um, well-deserved honor, and uh, a lot more, a lot more good things to come from you, my friend. I'm, I'm super excited, and, and this is well-deserved. Congratulations! Thanks, brother. That's nice. And, and but here's the interesting part: for those that do well, here's what we do: we read a great article about someone that does really well, and then we just move on, and we miss an important point. And that's what I want to share with you right now: is the reason why they do well is you is is an introduction to your relationship with them so if you are on instagram right now if you're watching wherever you're watching from right now i want you to grab a picture of this screen and i want you to post it because i think it makes a lot of sense they say go follow todd p conklin there's a reason for this there's a reason why we read great things about great people and then we move on to the next thing like that makes no sense there's a reason why these people are what they are and i always say this and i'll I, let this quote etch in your memory right now. Good entrepreneurs make good decisions and great entrepreneurs tell you why they made those decisions. I'll say it again. Good entrepreneurs make good decisions. Great entrepreneurs tell you why they made those decisions. And the why is going to be buried in the daily commentary, the daily thoughts, the daily feelings, the daily life of leaders like Todd. So right now, this is what I want you to do as a gift to Todd for putting this on, for getting everybody here, go follow him and send him a direct message and say, hey, congratulations. All I want you to say is, hey, congratulations. Send him a direct message because when Todd opens up his phone, I want him to see an insane number of congratulations because you know why? That, that not only, not only uh, inspires him, but it also soft forces him to keep producing at the high level that he's at. So uh, you want to you wanna force success, my friend. So here we go. Um, I want to talk to you about something today. My promise today is this. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to blow up your brand on social media. And there's a reason for that. And uh, if you've known me and you're my universe in any way, I'm a no fluff kind of guy. That's my first promise to you. My second promise is I'm going to respect your time. So the worst thing that you want is someone going over time. The third thing is I'm going to give you tactical stuff, stuff that you can use right now. I, I know a lot of great people have been on. I appreciate the mindset and the mechanics and all of that. I don't care about any of that right now. Let me tell you why. I need to put a stake in the ground because what we're going to talk about today needs to put money in your pocket. 
I only care about finding things that we can do right now that actually delivers results to you. How does this actually deliver revenue to you? How does this actually put money in your pocket? Because at the end of the day, you know what, if I can give you some tactical ideas that makes you, you know, that give, makes you more productive, that's interesting to me, but I want to put more money in your pocket. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And that comes from a practitioner of how I do what I do. So that's a big promise. So I appreciate everybody that's been on. I do not care. What I care about is to make this promise so that you can stay on this promise with me. All right. So here we go. The first thing I want to ask you, I want to ask you a question. When was the last time you Googled yourself? So when was the, in, in the comments, in the chat, give me like, when was the last time you actually Googled yourself? Some people say last year, some people say three months ago. When was the last time you Googled yourself? Now, it's fascinating that we, we don't really think about this, especially when we know that Google drives everything when it comes to our brand. So I want to show you something where it'll actually make a ton of sense to you, right? They make a ton of sense to you. So here's what I want to share with you. First, I Googled myself and I'm, I'm pasting these results. I want to show you the results. The first thing I, I Googled, this, this is the first page. Uh, I got a couple of things on here. So personal website, personal website, LinkedIn. This should kind of surprise you. LinkedIn is way up there. Keep going here. Facebook, some entrepreneur magazine article, Twitter. Keep going. YouTube, Instagram, some random podcast. Now you may think, okay, well, that's interesting, Sharon. Well, I want to show you the insight behind this. I want to show you the insight behind how you can control your presence online because you can be darn sure that before someone is meeting you for the first time, you can be darn sure that they're punching your name into the search engine. So what does that mean for you? Here's what I did. On the left, you see my personal website, my professional website, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and in YouTube. On the right-hand side, you just see a random entrepreneur magazine article and a podcast. 80% of the content that you see right now is the content that you control. That's what I want to show you. I want to show you the power of this. I want to show you the power of the content that you control. It, I, I get people talking to me all the time, including leaders that tell me, Oh, you know, people talk about my stuff all the time. I got my listings in a random place. Oh, because of Zillow, I show up higher, whatever. I don't care, but here's the good, good part. When the website rank is high, it's going to show up higher. And I would love for you to control as much as possible that shows up on the first page of Google. If you do that, you have automatically won. If you do that, you've automatically created an insane amount of, 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 difference, a, a, a competitive advantage from your other people where other competitors in your marketplace, you know what? They are letting the default stuff show up for them. Now you may ask me, Sharon, well, okay, that's interesting. I understand this. Well, how do I control all of this? So I want to give you the tactical ways where you can control at least 80% of the first page that shows up because that is really important. So here, let's, let's jump into that. The first thing is you need to know this. Your brand isn't what you say it is. Your brand isn't your brand colors. Your brand isn't anything else. Your brand is what Google says it is first. And second, Todd will tell you this all the time. Your brand, for those that are listening, that are part of the Coal Banker family, those that are listening, your brand is CB. Your band is called Bank and Sing. You know why? Because in times of stress, in times of unknown, in times where someone doesn't know you, you know what? They know the brand. And you are an ambassador of that brand. All the time, we think that we're going we're gonna to stand up out on our own by ourselves. I'm a big believer in personal brands. I appreciate that. But when a consumer looks at you, sees you, and they see the association, it gives them a lot of, no doubt this word, safety. Safety is a big reason why people choose us. Just so you know, safety is a big reason why people choose us. If two people are presented, Jim at XYZ company that they've never heard of, or you say Todd Conklin, Cole Banker, distinctive. What is there is, even if I don't know Todd, I feel a sense of kinship. I feel a sense of safety and security because it allows me to start that relationship. I want you to know that there's a lot of power in the brand that's been built over time, which gives people a ton of safety, which gives you an unfair advantage. All right, so here's what you do. Number one, um, this is the time where you drop all your limiting beliefs and you say, oh, I'm a technophobe. I don't jump on the phone. I'm a face-to-face kind of guy. Like, you know, I, 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 get, I get business because people call me. 
you are going to be dead in the water. No one's going to call you ever again. I'm going to tell you right now, the world has changed completely. You have to, and you must be on every single platform. You don't have a choice. And I'm not telling you that you need to be active on every single platform. I am just saying you need to be on every single platform. I'm not active on every single platform. I'm just on, you know why? Because when Google works and it says, oh, there's Sharon has a profile on Google and it's going to show, show it to me in the first page. It looks like you are everywhere. You don't need to be active on every platform. You just need to be on every platform. I'm giving you a seven minute project that will change your life forever. You just need to be on every platform. So when a new platform like TikTok comes out, you need to be on TikTok. You know, you should not say, oh my gosh, that's for dancing videos and my teenage son. No, that's not what it is for. That is for you to get an unfair advantage just to be on every single platform because you know what? The juice of Google is gonna make you look good. So number one, be on every platform. But how should I brand myself on every platform, Sharon? Should I have my logo? Should I have my photo? What should I say on it? People ask me this all the time. And the funny part is nobody will tell you. And you know why nobody will tell you? Because no one freaking knows. That's the problem. The reason is we need to figure out exactly how you should brand yourself on each platform. I want to tell you how to do that right now. I, very simple. Same photo, same bio, same link on every single platform. Very simple. Same photo, same bio, same link on every single platform. And I actually walk the walk. So let me show this to you here. Let me show you right here. It is on top left. You see my Instagram, same photo, very similar bio on the right. You see my LinkedIn, same photo on the bottom left. You see my Twitter, same photo on the bottom right. You see my uh, Facebook, same photo, because now when someone Googles me and all the thumbnails show up, you know what they see, they see consistency. You know what consistency helps them with safety. It doesn't need to be pink and blue in your brand colors. Follow your brand. Follow the CB color. Like, create safety around it. That's when this stuff really, really makes sense. All right? Same photo, same bio. Now, you may be asking me, Sharon, all right, Sharon, bios. All right, Todd, you're going to love this one because I kind of went a little hard on this because I think you guys will appreciate this. So the next uh, four minutes are going to be somewhat exciting for you because I'm going to rip on a bunch of people. So here, here's, here's what we're going to do. I want to tell you about how to write a bio because no one's really told you about how to write a bio because everybody in the real estate business thinks they're marketers. Now, you may be an amazing marketer to market a piece of property. You may be an amazing marketer to market yourself, but the way you market yourself on today's modern social media platform is not what you have been taught. So you literally do not have the skill for it and whatever you think works does not work. I want to show you that. So here's what happens in a perfect bio. Very simple. Who are you? What do you do and how do they contact you? I'm, don't overthink this. Who are you? What do you do? And how do they contact you, right? Those are the three things that need to be in the bio. So if, for those that are like highly technical, highly analytical, let me give you a formula. The formula is this. Hey, I help this kind of people do this kind of work in this kind of location. All right, so let me bring it to life for you. This is a good bio. If I was Todd Conklin, my bio would be this. I help my clients, not I help buyers and sellers because nobody knows whether they're buyers and sellers. Nobody knows that they're prospects. Nobody knows that they're investors. Like a seller doesn't say, oh, oh, oh I'm a seller. No, they don't say that, right? I help my clients buy and sell real estate in Grand Junction, Colorado. That is a bio. That is a perfect bio. And the funny part is, I, you know, you know I, I looked through 118 bios yesterday, 118 bios, and I couldn't find one that had this on it. Not one. I couldn't even find one that worked. Now, let me take it to the next level. I told you who I am and what I do. How do they contact you? Hey, I help my clients buy and sell real estate in Grand Junction, Colorado. Text me at this number. The next time you ever want to, are, are urged to put the words, call me, or call, I want to tell you to refrain from that. Nobody will ever call you. It, 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 they will call, because they, they don't want to. You know why? They don't know what to say. This is my point. Nobody knows what to call and say, um, hi, um, I saw your um, thingy on uh, Zillow and uh, it's on this. Uh, they don't know what to say. They don't know what to call. They don't know what to say. And that's the reason they don't call. And the reason I'm telling you this is, my, my wife has a favorite restaurant, right? The favorite restaurant that she, like her favorite restaurant. It, they do takeout, but you have to call them and they don't have an online ordering menu. And you know why? Because of that, my wife won't even order there anymore. She would rather, she would rather, my wife is your ideal prospect and she would rather find a substandard restaurant that, that is not her favorite restaurant that she can order online with or text on. And that's crazy. 
Give them an easy way to connect with you. Remove all friction. This is a good bio. Now, here's the way to take this bio to a whole new level, right? One thing that can make this bio completely different. Here's the one thing. I help my clients buy and sell real estate in Grand Junction, Colorado. Look at these next words. Text or DM me the word secret for me to send you my report on the seven secrets that every Grand Junction homeowner should know. Text me the word secret. Now, if you don't have this, Literally, you're leaving money on the table. They're free leads just sitting on the table. There's a reason why you say text me the word secret because if you say text me, right? I don't know what to text you. Make it easy for me. I don't know what to text you. What am I gonna say? Uh, hi, uh, this is Sharon. Like, what do I say? But now you've told me, you've given me the direction, you've guided me, you've told me exactly what to do. So when I text you the word secret, I know exactly what's gonna happen right there. And now you know whether that's working or not. So here's the interesting part. Let's look at some profiles. Are you guys ready? I actually screenshotted some profiles for you and not too many, but I screenshotted some profiles for you. Here's the first one. The first one is actually my friend, John Wentworth. I, I know this guy. He's a great team leader. I love him. He's an amazing entrepreneur, but there's an opportunity to do better. Like if I read his profile, I literally does, don't know what he does. He's a real estate leader. As a consumer, I have no idea what that means, right? I have no idea what that means because he's talking to consumers, right? He's a public figure, I don't know what that means. He's talking about God, wife and kids and friends and real estate growing, I don't know what that means. He's a top real estate team in the US. Well, I don't know whether that's investing or buying, I have no idea. He owns thoroughbreds and he's got an interesting link there, which is something up with a question mark and an affiliate and now since I'm older, like I get freaked out and I don't wanna click it. This is how people think by the way, they see this and they're like, Okay, um, I'm instantly not, I, I don't know what to do. Literally what has happened here is I don't know what to do. And the funny part is, is John is a badass. He's like a brother to me. I love this guy. But there's an amazing opportunity in this. Now, let's go to the next level. This is a second profile. So you see something like this a lot. I have no idea. I don't know Carla. Carla's cool guy. Here's what I love about Carla on this one. Great picture. Great picture, great smile. Great picture, great smile. But this is better. Hey, she's a realtor, good. Let's find you your, find your dream home. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Oh, I wanna sell my house, so she's not the right fit for me. Did you know that? Like I instantly disqualified her because all she's telling me is she's helping people buy a home and she's, she's not helping people list homes, right? And then I don't know where she works. I don't know what area. I don't, I have no idea. So now I have to go through her posts to figure out what area she works. I have no idea, I'm not gonna do that. And then what does she do? She sends me to her Facebook page from there. Well, I see it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm already on Instagram. Like it, there's no hook for me to do more. I really think Carla has done a good job so far, but she has so much opportunity where she can do better. And that's what I want to show you. Remember, who are you? What do you do? How can they contact you? Right? I need to like, I need to know that. Now let's take it to the next. Let's see. Let's see one person that I saw that did a really good job. They did a really good job. Sold by Mark. This is good. He says, hey, um, just so you guys know, he's done this. And he says, Mark Z real estate. That was really good. Because when you search real estate, Mark shows up. That's a nice search engine hack on Instagram. Really, actually really good. And he says, hey, I'm an entrepreneur since I've been nine years old. Cool. I'm already kind of into him. He's the CEO of Mark Z real estate experts. Okay, cool. Now look at some social proof. He's like, hey, 5,000 homes sold. Okay, awesome. I now at least know that he's in the, real, in the business of selling homes. Over $1 billion in sales. Now, that's just so you know, if I were Mark, like he doesn't need to do that, right? Because that's making him and his team and everybody else feel nobody cares about the $1 billion sold. What he, what I, as he's already gotten his point across by saying over 5,000 homes sold. He's already given me social proof that he knows how to sell homes. And then he says, partner with me. Well, this is interesting. I don't know what that means. Like, what does that mean? I have no, like Mark has done an amazing job with this profile and he may disagree with everything I'm telling you and that's totally cool, but I'm using this as an example for you to say, you have three to seven seconds for somebody to instantly know what you're doing and they are going to make a snap decision on two things. Number one, whether they follow you right then or whether they actually like contact you. And here's what I want. I, I'm not interested in them following me. I want them to contact me. Like I want them to do something, especially if they're into me, right? 
partner with me is too broad. And I'll give you one last thing on here. How many of you, have, like you must, many of you have seen the link tree option. You click on the link tree. It has nine other options to go into. Bad idea. Do not do that. Because now you're giving people, sending people to another page where now they have seven more options to look at stuff and now they're going to get lost and they're just going to bounce. Give people, make it very clear. Hey, my name is Todd Conklin. I help clients buy and sell real estate in Grand Junction, Colorado. Text me the word secret to get my secret report on what it means to be a homeowner in Colorado. Message me below and for this. Very simple. And that's how you win. Now, based on all of this, let me show you a profile that is perfect. Perfect. Michael Longoco. It's This is perfect, right? He says, Michael Longoco, real estate. Portland real estate agent. Okay, good. I at least know what he does. I help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. I know exactly what he does. DM me the word home for a free home valuation. I know exactly what to do. But then he says this, which is really great. Hey, for off-market homes, shh, join my VIP group below. And he doesn't have like a long, wonky, question mark, funny link. It's very simple. I can read it. It says michaelsviplist.com. This is a perfect bio. I know exactly what to do right now. And you may think how he did this. Well, he got a little coaching, right? So just FYI, I worked with Michael to get it, get it. And he took the guidance and he did the right thing. But can you see the value of this? And by the way, um, if we have a few minutes later and someone wants to pop their bio in, I can, uh, I can, I'm happy to do a quick audit for you. But it, like it literally, if you just do this, you instantly win. You instantly win. And that's why this stuff is very interesting. All right. So let's, let's fire through. Uh, Everyone will tell you this. Video is the fastest way to build a brand. Video, video, video. Video is the fastest way to build a brand. You know what else they tell you? Oh, you are only as good as the last seven videos you made. Oh, you're only as good as the last 13 videos you made. But crazy enough, they won't tell you how to do it. They'll just say, it's only about the last seven videos you made. It's only about the last 13 videos you made. Oh, you need to go make a video about your new listing. Oh, you need to go make a video about your open house. Oh, just do a premiere on Facebook. Oh, just do a Facebook Live on your open house. But nobody will tell you how to do it. There's a reason why. And let me tell you the reason why. A lot of the talking heads in our industry talk to you. They don't talk to our consumers. There's a big disconnect there, right? When there's a disconnect, like Todd actually talks to a client. When, when, you, know, you know what happens when a tough client situation happens? You know what they do? They call Todd. Hey, Todd, can you help me talk to my client? Todd talks to clients. And so he, he's not going to give you a BS script to use with the client because he talks to clients every day. I believe in the last three years, the world has dramatically changed where if you are not talking to an active client right now, your scripting is broken. You can't come up with something from 40 years ago as an objection handler to hand to somebody today to use in their business. In fact, I was in a Zoom appointment on a $14 million listing in New York, uh, trying to get them to actually keep their expired listing. And you know what? Literally, it, it was, it was this, this, the, the agents were using scripting from a 40-year-old script book, and they wonder why they can't get the listing because they, they feel so disconnected from the clients. So today I wanna to tell you about how to actually do video, even if you're deathly afraid of it, right? There are two big problems with video. And let me tell you what those problems are, right? And if any of these make sense, you know, if problem number one makes sense, put one in the chat. If problem number two makes sense, put two in the chat, because I wanna give you and break down these two problems. The first problem is this. Well, Sharon, I don't know what to talk about. I mean, you and I and all of us have heard this. I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to make a video on. All right, let's solve that problem right now. Here's the answer to the problem. Please check your email, okay? And here's what I mean by that. The funny part is your clients have already asked you questions all the time. They ask you questions and you have already answered that. Your job is not to create content. Your job is to actually tell the story of what is happening with your clients already right now. So if a client asks you a question today, and let's say, let's say Shannon Conklin asked you a question, right? Shannon asked you a question. She's like, hey, Sharon, uh, when is my earnest money due? Like people ask you that. And so you respond to Shannon. Hey, Shannon, per our contract, the earnest money is due on this, this, and date. These are our th three covenants, and this is why it's important. Uh, would you like the address or the wiring instruction to send it to? That's the response that you sent to Shannon. Now, interestingly, here's how you convert that to a video. So you pull your camera up and you just look at your camera and you say this, you say, hey, 
Today's question of the day comes from Shannon Conklin in Grand Junction, Colorado. Shannon asked this, which all my clients ask me at some point in time or the other. So if you are thinking this before Googling it, ask me, let me read the question out to you and I'll give you the answer. Shannon asked, Hey, Sharon, uh, excited to buy my new home. What is, can you explain what this earnest money is? Well, let me tell you about three things that you need to know about earnest money. One, two, three. Hey, if you want more information about this, message me on the blue button below and I'll get you information on the next home you want to buy. That's how you do video, right? You don't have to make content. You take a question that you already answered and you say question of the day, you read the question, you read out your answer and you are done because now you are doing something that is really powerful and it is called entering the conversation in the prospect's mind. All right. You enter the conversation in the prospect's mind. You enter the conversation in the client's mind. We don't really know what they're thinking. I want to give you a really simple example. My, my friend runs a market research firm, which is the, one of the largest market research firms in the country. They did a, they did a study of 70 to 80,000 home buyers and they gave these home buyers a survey. All right. And I want, I want to I want, like, this is blow your mind. There was one term in the survey that zero, 100% of buyers had no idea what it was. 100% of buyers. And that is a term that we use every day in our qualifying statements, every day in our qualifying conversations, every day in our scripting. You know what that word is? Lender. 100% of home buyers had zero idea what the word lender meant. They had no idea. But we use it, oh, would you, if, you, if you're interested, I, I'll introduce you to my lender. No, they have no idea what that word means. You freaked them out with new terminology. And you know why you freaked them out with new terminology? Because somebody 40 years ago wrote a script in a script book that never talked to a client that you memorized. And that's the problem. And, and, and I'm really passionate about this. You know why? Because we say stupid things to our clients over and over without thinking about them. The answer is in your email. Use the words exactly that your clients actually ask and answer those same questions. Now I'm gonna give you a funny part here. So question number, Todd, did you have a thought that you wanted to chime in on? I know you like this stuff. Uh, do you, I, I, usually I'd be asking you questions, but I, I just have to leave you alone. I just wanna make sure everybody knows, go to the question and answer box, Q and A, type in whatever questions you wanna answer. I'll make sure that we have a few minutes at the end so that we can ask Sharon. You, you can tell, he, he might be opinionated, he might be passionate about this stuff, yeah? So, so make sure you get in there. All right. So, so, but at, you know, at the end of the day, they're like, I, I just want to give you guys the tactical stuff because when you get off the call, you should not be like, okay, great. That was kind of fun. He was kind of, he was kind of kooky, but I got an idea. I'm going to go into my, into an email and I'm going to make a video. I'm going to my email. I'm going to write a post because I already have all the content that's been created. All right. So here's, that's question number one. Question number, problem number two. Oh, Sharon, I'm not really sure how to structure my videos. Well, I'm going to give you the structure today and you may want to take a picture of this. So let me give you the structure today. So if you have your phone, grab your phone, uh, take a picture of this. Of course, we'll share the slides and all of that, but here is how you structure the video. All right. Because structure gives you freedom. And once you have structure, you can do a lot of wild things. So uh, if we have some time after I'll actually take any video topic that you want to make and I will make it for you on the fly, I'll just make it for you, right? Because structure gives you freedom. Here's a four part video framework that you should always use. It's called the hook, the setup, the pitch, and the call to engagement. There's no call to, there's no call to action. It's call to engagement. We live in a social world of social media. Let me tell you how not to do a video first. Here's how you do not do a video. Hey everybody, it's Sean Truats, i right here calling you from, you know, Grand Junction, Colorado. I'm telling you about this new listing on 123 Main Maple Street. It's got, no. You know why? Because as soon as you lead with who you are, they don't care. It is not about you first. It is about you second, right? I know this is hard for a lot. It is not about you first. It is about you second. So you got to give them the hook. You got to give them something that is pretty amazing, which gets them to stop. Then you can introduce who you are. You're like, okay, Sharon, this is all interesting. Like, give me a real example. So I want to give you an example of something that happened. I don't know if I shared this with Todd. I want to give you an example of something that happened. I was teaching an Instagram class and uh, one of my friends who was a top agent in Beverly Hills uh, was in the class and he said to me, well, you know, Sharon, I have this pocket listing in Beverly Hills. It's the lowest priced home in Beverly Hills. 
And I was like, I want to know how much this lowest priced home in Beverly Hills is, right? And he's like, oh, it's like $2.5 million. I was like, of course, the lowest priced home in Beverly Hills is $2.5 million. He's like, but Sharon, you know, it's a pocket listing and it also has amazing views. I was like, really? It has, it's the lowest priced home and it has amazing views. You must be getting a ton of traction on it. He's like, well, in the last 18 months, I haven't even gotten one showing and the, the, the sellers are going to like fire me. I was like, you haven't even gotten one showing? That's crazy. So here's what I did. I took my phone on my Instagram and I recorded a one minute video for him. One minute video on my Instagram. And I want to show you that video because I think you'll appreciate how it got done. So this is a one take Charlie, no prep, nothing based on what he told me. So let's actually break down that video in this format. All right. So here's what I'm going to show you. Um, Todd, I'm going to hit play. I hope this plays. And if it doesn't, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do the video live. Have you ever wondered what it means to actually live by celebrities? Having actual celebrities as your neighbor in Beverly Hills, California, I have an amazing opportunity. So if you guys notice what I just did, I, it was not a, hey, this is Sharon, none of that. It was like, hey, have you ever dreamed of living next to celebrities, actual celebrities that live in Beverly Hills? I have an amazing opportunity for you. Now you're like, oh, I, I, I'm curious. I want, to, I want to listen to the next 15 seconds. That's called a perfect hook. You want a perfect hook to get them to start, to stay. Even the, even the question of the day is a perfect hook because now it puts social proof. Hey, today's question comes from Shannon Conklin in Grand Junction. And I'm like, oh, I, I'm curious what Shannon wants to ask. It's not about Sharon. It's I'm curious what Shannon wants to ask. That's why this is really important. So let's go to the second piece of this puzzle, right? This is just 15 seconds. Here's the second piece. I call this the perfect setup for you. Now, the interesting part is this. Do you just want to live next to celebrities or do you want a home with amazing views without breaking the bank? I'm not joking, amazing views. So now I'm, now I'm actually teasing it out, right? I'm saying, hey, not only do you get to live with celebrities, but do you want a home with amazing views without breaking the bank? Now, what am I, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get them to stay with me just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. Now let's look at the third part. I've set up something. I've set up what I'm actually going to pitch them right now. So this is called the perfect pitch. Now I get to pitch the property. It's not the property up front. I actually get to pitch the property live right now. Without breaking the bank. Well, for the first time in 17 years, we have a home that is in Beverly Hills that is one of the lowest recorded prices ever with breathtaking views and is still one of the lowest. So now I say, hey, listen, we have something coming on, but did you notice, I said for the first time in 17 years, you're giving them a, a feeling of, oh my gosh, like this doesn't come around often. I need to kind of check in and I need to watch the rest of this. So this is called the perfect pitch. No pitch, no pitch is complete without a call to engagement. I'll say it again. No pitch is complete without a call to engagement. Let me show you the call to engagement. Price homes in Beverly Hills. Now, I don't know whether you like homes with views or homes at the lowest price, but an opportunity like this will never come about ever again. Message me below if you wanna know more. So here's the interesting part. I don't care about anybody's message. All I care about is for them to click one of these poll options on Instagram. I just want them to click one of these poll options because I want them to engage with my video. Now you may say, all right, Sharon, that's interesting. Why would you want them to do that? What can this possibly do for you? Well, let me show you what I do next, all right? So right, if I'm gonna put this Instagram thing on the right part of my screen. So I got um, a little over a thousand people that saw the story. So you can, see the, you can see the stats right here. 93 people roughly said, you know, they voted for amazing views and the rest voted uh, for, for lowest price. And you can see all the names below. Now the cool part is right next to each name, you see a little pair airplane icon. What you can do there is you can click that icon and it instantly opens up a direct message to them and you can message them. These are people have, have actually interacted with it. They voted on your poll. They know, they actually engage with your story. They said, I want amazing views. They actually told you that. So I sent every responder of the survey the same exact question via direct message. And I'm gonna actually tell you what that message is, right? Here's what I said. I said, would you like to see a private 3D tour of the secret listing in Beverly Hills? Not pocket listing because nobody knows what a pocket is. Not lender because nobody knows what a lender is. Would you like to see a private 3D tour of the secret listing in Beverly Hills? Because I know that these people are already engaged. I didn't give him the price. I didn't give him anything because as a pocket, this agent already had like a Matterport 3D set up. 
This is all I sent them. I want to give you the results of this. I sent 177 direct messages. I got 51 responses, nine phone, uh, phone calls back, three showings, two offers, and is under contract from my Instagram. It's not, I don't even, I have a national, international audience, right? Literally, the cost was free. I did it, no ads, nothing. It took me 60 seconds to do the video and about 29 minutes to copy, paste, and send the direct message. You may think that, oh, Sharon, that's because you have a larger audience. Whatever. You can do it with a smaller audience. You can do it. You just have to get into the cadence of doing this stuff. We can't just say, oh, call me and I'll give you more information. They will, and you wonder why they don't. They will never call you. The reason is not that they don't want to pick up the phone. The reason is they don't know what to call you and say. Make it really easy for them. Hey, message me the word secret. Send me the word home. Message me the word Beverly. Like you want to do or do the poll and then you can actually reach out to them. The platforms have given us an amazing way to connect with people and that's when this stuff gets really exciting. All right, let me keep firing through. Now, I want to tell you right now what nobody will tell you, what only happens in mastermind groups that are behind closed doors and I paid, and I'll, I'll give you the truth, I paid, I paid $25,000 a year to be a part of this uh, marketing mastermind group. Uh, we meet three times a year for one day. So I literally pay $8,500 for one day to sit in a mastermind group and then we meet three times a year, right? I wanna give you something that happened from that meeting. I wanna give you what I learned from my friend Jason Capital. And he talked about the power of question and answer on camera. We all think that just doing our selfie videos and videos are really interesting. And he realized that if he did the same video by himself, or he did the video with Todd asking him the question in the shot and then him answering the same question, it was better. Not just better, 10 to 11 times better because suddenly it gave him credibility for answering that question. And you may wonder, well, who's Jason Capital? Well, Jason has over a million followers on Instagram, right? But look at the, the, the pictures that I've outlined for you in orange or whatever, I'm colorblind. Uh, look at the, Four steps to quit a bad habit. There are other people in the shot asking him the question. Bottom middle, like I am asking him a question and he's answering the question. Top right, he's standing on stage. Someone is standing up and asking him a question and he's answering the question. He's building everything around people asking him the question so that he can answer the question. This is the greatest, easiest thing that you can do. Have someone else ask you the question in the shot and you will get 10 to 11 times more engagement because that instantly installs you as credibility. You don't even need to have the gift of the gap. Now, here's what I did. I hired, uh, my team learned about this and my team's kind of analytically crazy and I haven't even showed and taught this before. My team did, a, did some research on YouTube on, uh, and said, you know, how much, how, many, uh, how much time has been watched on Sharon's videos? And I, I share this with you very important, in, 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 in a very interesting way. Over the last 12 months, just the videos that I've been have had 6.4 million minutes of watch time. Like, that is ridiculous. 6.4 million minutes of watch time. And I want to tell you the videos that drove that watch time. Let me actually tell you and show you the videos that drove the watch time. Here's the first one. This is a video that I say, hey, here, here's incomplete advice that coaches give entrepreneurs. The funny part is you may think, well, sure, nobody else is in the shot. Well, I'll tell you how I did this video. I put the laptop right in front of me and I just looked away to the side. I pretended like someone else was asking me the question and I just answered this question looking away from the camera so people think that I'm talking to somebody else in the room. You manufacture the q and I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking away. Now in the entire world things, I'm talking to somebody else in the room and I, and I actually say, oh, that's an interesting question. Let me answer it for you. And I just talk to the wall. It's insane. And here's the funny part. I don't do it once. I do it over and over, right? Because I realized when Jason told me that, that I have to manufacture this q and and instead, now, not only did I do that, I said, all my videos, I'm going to start doing that now. As much as I can, I'm going to start doing that now. So let me show you a very interesting thing. So here's a video. Uh, and actually, I talk about how you need to go Google yourself. It, th this stuff is crazy, by the way. And I'll, I'll actually show you the actual video because it's me and, and uh, a good friend of mine, Dean Aguilar, talking to each other on Q&A. 13 million views on this, uh, 13,000 views on this video, which like for Instagram organically is insane. Now, here's the interesting part. Since I got that, 
and this video did really well. Todd, you'd appreciate this. I just changed the image and I posted the same video again. The same exact video. I, I didn't change anything. 29,000 views, right? Now the interesting part, yeah, my, my audience grew. That's okay, so I got a, a good boost in that, but it still means that it's working. And what's working? Here's what's working. I am in the shot with another person answering your question. That's what works right now. So whether you're in the shot answering a question or whether you're just looking into, into the wild west, either is okay. The easiest, simplest tip to drive video engagements is to actually do Q&A on video. Q&A on video is the easiest thing to do because it makes people connect with you more than anything else. All right, so that's the power of Q&A on camera. All right, let me, let me quickly recap for you guys. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a hold of all the accounts on all the platforms. If you can't do it, find a friend, find a, uh, 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 you know, a cousin, find a teenager, make them do it, get all the accounts. That's gonna take you about 15 minutes. I would you like you to put the same photo and bio on all the platforms? Remember who you are, what you do, where you do it, how can they contact you? Number three, I would commit to at least one platform as your primary, just one. You don't have to do everything, just one. And then just post a ton. When I say a ton, post every day. Because it doesn't matter what you post, the more you create, the better you will feel. I will say the video is the fastest way to build a brand. We talked about two things. Number one, answer, uh, uh, the email, all the topics are in your email. You don't need to create any new content. And number two, follow the structure that I shared with you. If you can repost on other platforms that I, I don't even overthink that. Here's the one thing that I'll leave you with. If someone posts something good, Todd, you look at Todd's post, he has a great video, like comment on it. I, I, I'm, I'm bummed when I see people binge watch content about people that they love and they'll appreciate and they don't even say anything because if, I, if you don't give me feedback, I'm going to stop making stuff. If Todd does something that you love, like tell him that you like it so he can make more like it, right? Literally, if I, got, if I write an email and I get 100 replies, or I write an email and I get 1,000 replies, I know that the email with 1,000 replies landed better. So I'm going to make more emails like that to serve you more. Whenever you're following someone, whenever you like a piece of content, whenever you like what someone's doing, please commit to me today. When you see something great, say something great. I'll say it again. When you see something great, say something great because it is our responsibility to, to celebrate because we only get what we celebrate, right? Small little things like Todd, that was awesome, makes Todd believe and makes me believe that what we're doing is important so we can keep doing it for you. And last but not least, on social media, you must goof off. You must play around. If you don't, then you don't get platform mastery. I know I went very technical on this stuff, but this is super important. So before I do anything, I will have a stay at home gift for you. I know we're all coming back to work, stay at home gift for you. And then I'll answer some questions. I did a little, something a little crazy. Um, was a, a few weeks ago when all this whole you know, quarantine thing kind of started, I, 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 I decided that I would download 20 years of lessons, 20 years of experience in 10 phone calls. So literally I did 10 days worth um, of 10 minute calls a day for 10 days. And I called it the two week MBA. I recorded the calls. I didn't share them with anybody. Whoever was on live was on live. We had thousands of people on the call live. And what I want to do is I want to give you those recordings if you would like them. So it's called the two week MBA. And uh, if you know me, I'm a no fluff, no gimmicks, no upsells. I'm not going to ask you to buy anything. It is my gift to you. So go to two week MBA.com if you would like it. Uh, and if you don't, that's totally cool. You should go still go follow Todd and give him some bunch of kudos, but two week MBA.com to get uh, the stuff that I did. Again, it's my gift to you for being on today, for staying engaged and for supporting us. So um, that's my gift to you. So Todd, thanks for having me, man. Oh, dude, you, you are just out of control. All right. Well, let's, um, well, listen, I'm, uh, I'm going I'm to give everybody, there's a bunch of questions um, in the Q and A. Um, I, and I'll give you just a little bit of time here, Peter, to, to kind of work through that. I, I was taking some notes or a couple of things that, that really sort of hit me. Um, I, cause I get this question a lot, right? Well, what platform should I be on? I love that. You're like, just be on all of them. Yeah. How simple, right? Same photo, same colors. Like that was brilliant. Um, the, the DM me the word. Yeah. That's so awesome. Right. Duh. Um, leverage your brand so i see so many entrepreneurs real estate agents or otherwise really trying to differentiate themselves rather than leverage the trust 
their differentiation is in their messaging. I like that. I thought that was brilliant. Um, and then meeting the customer in their mind by answering more questions. Seriously, of course, <laughs> duh. Uh, so brilliant, brilliant stuff, brother. I really appreciate that. Um, I know I'm getting a lot of questions. Um, you know, how do I get a hold of Sharon? So I'm gonna tell it to you again. If you go to his website, it's Sharon.com, S-H-A-R-R-A-N.com. The good news is he's not asking you to spell Shrabatsa, okay? <laughs> uh, so just go to Sharon.com. Uh, you, you can connect with him there. The absolute best place to connect with him is on Instagram. So, so Sharon Shrabatsa uh, is his handle there. Say that 10 times fast. Um, as far as slides are concerned, watch this, Sharon, ready? If you want the slides, DM me Sharon and I will get you the link to the oh. slides and the recording. So DM me Sharon and I'll get you the slides and the recording. All right, Peter, so it's good. all you, brother. So good. Let's uh, let's look at Chris Leeper's profile. You let's offered to you audit want, somebody. Want to do a little audit. Let's talk. let's do. Um, audits are my favorite thing. So let's let let me pull it up right now. Uh, we could we could literally do audits. Um, you know, for the rest of times. All right, Leapster. I know I know Chris. So. Agent Chris Leaper right there. Awesome. Okay, good. So, so um, Chris, uh, go with the, the in, so the first thing I will tell you is this. Uh, for everybody that knows this, we're doing this on, on, on desktop, but I would keep all your, uh, the list of notes that he's, he's got like several lines. I would shrink all of those to no more than three lines. And let me tell you why. If you go on a profile on, on, on your phone right now, what Instagram has started doing is, they cut off your profile and they put this little dot, dot, dot more. So now you have to click a button to see the rest. So my suggestion first would be literally instantly just put everything in the first three lines. That would be the first thing that I would do. All right. The second thing that I would do is, of course, I really like when, when you said um, Chris Reaper re Realtor, um, I would actually, I would actually make it even, even like I would actually, people don't search for realtor people search for real estate so i would actually replace realtor with real estate and that way you'll show up on all the real estate searches which i think would be which i think would be good the um the real estate service is awesome now i would love for you to tell me here what you do like i i'm sharon i want to you know i want to buy like i don't know i want to buy a home in riverside i want to work with you so you can say hey i help clients buy and sell homes in riverside california that's it Right. And now I love your link, by the way. Um, you, the link is really good. I would remove all the hashtags. I would remove every, all of that. The link is really good and say, if you want my, if you want my special market report on Riverside, click the link below. That's cool. Now, at least you've given them one very specific place of action because you being an investor, you being an entrepreneur, you being a traveler, you that's, that's good, but it doesn't do much for me. The other thing I would also tell you is uh, a lot more, uh, handles in your profile need don't take them to another place I would put none of them they're on your profile keep them on your profile don't take them to another place I would keep them on your profile I like the dog parent by the way though uh, because a lot of people connect with that so if that is your last one like your fourth one that is below the fold that's cool um, but overall I think that with a couple of changes you can really nail this one but uh, I know you man you're an action taker so consider that and if I can help uh, take a second peek at it, uh, let me know. So if, let's see if there are any other uh, audits we can do. How about Ashley Anderson, Realtor? Okay. Is, uh, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming this. Cool. I think this is Ashley. So first thing, Ashley, what I would suggest is, uh, if this is yours, I'm assuming this is yours. If this I, don't is your... I don't think that's the Ashley Anderson. Okay. Uh, Ash. Ashley, um, this is actually, I'll take a quick second here. Just FYI, no private accounts, no private accounts, no personal accounts. People be like, should I have a personal account, business? No, no private accounts, no personal accounts. Swift, switch to a business account because you get all the analytics and you can run ads if you want. And everything is public. Like you're not trying to be a secret agent. Like don't, you don't, why don't you want people to find you? Like, no, if you want somebody and you want a private account, go start a, go start a, you know, pinky two tails private account. Like that's not what your brand is your brand. Like keep it public. Right. So um, let's see, Ashley Anderson, realtor. Did I do it right? Um, 
Peter? So this should be a lesson to differentiate yourself from someone else, right? So maybe it's this. I don't know if this. I don't know if this. What? Um... That's not. That's not her either. Okay. Um, that should be a lesson right there. Any advice for her there? So this is good. So my my suggestion would be to stay as close to your name as possible. Like I don't want to search and see multiple names. Uh, so I, you know, if I can search. Um, and so like the first, so let's say this is yours, Ashley, I would do Ashley Anderson, uh, you know, um, vertical bar real estate. That's the first thing I would do. But right here, I don't know what markets, I don't know where you serve. Like I have to go look through and now I know that you're serving Santa Barbara, but like, say, tell me straight up, but I like the top 1% Berkshire Hathaway nations in nationwide. That's cool. But that after you tell me what you do. So a couple of things about naming conventions. Um, keep your name as close to your name as possible. No team, no group, none of that. No team, no group. It is you, your name, and your name only. No team logos on your profile picture. It is your profile picture and some version of your name. So like Todd, you know, Todd did a good job. Todd P. Conklin, because Todd Conklin was probably taken. That's fine, right? Um, if you can't find Ashley Anderson, maybe do Ashley Anderson Official, Ashley Anderson Real Estate, Ashley, but I would suggest no numbers, no underscore, no none of that because it just breaks up the visual of how you actually are putting your uh, name. And by the way, you can change your handle anytime you want. So make it really simple um, as a way to kind of do that. Can we look at, can we look at Nelson Riddle team? So uh, and hold, hold on, just, just one second. So we, we have five minutes left with Sharon. I know we've got a, a bunch of questions. So, so Sharon, if you're going to do that uh, while, you're, while you're searching those, maybe uh, – we can make this the last one or two uh, that sure. we do and we can awesome okay awesome great. this is cool nelson riddle team uh this is great so uh, first my first suggestion is um if 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 i don't feel like you're there i don't care i'm gonna say it again if i don't feel like you're there i don't care which means right now really great profile by the way like it's really good but i don't know like i don't feel like you're like i need to know this is one per so you can say hey this is jim nelson and debbie riddle i, I would put your names there uh, instead of Coronado Real Estate, but I don't know who, I, I need a face. So even if it's the both of you, I would put both your names on there. I would put both your photos on there. At least I know that it's your representing. I need to connect with you. And I think that's what social is all about, right? Um, as when, it's the, when you put the phone icon in there, like again, I would say, hey, we help clients buy and sell real estate in Coronado, California. I would put that very specifically. Um, instead of just saying blog, right? I would say, read the three things that our clients want to know right now, visit our blog, like direct them for a specific reason. Otherwise I have no reason to click that, right? That's the other thing. And instead of phone, what I would do is in your profile, just set up your phone, email, text, et cetera. So it'll show up in your, in your profile and then just say text, you know, Coronado to this number to get a report or something like that. I want them to do something with it. And that's when this stuff's got to get exciting. But by the way, super clean profile. I love what you guys have done. Uh, just, I would put your photo on here and use your names more. And I think, uh, and a little call to action as to why someone should click that link. Cool. Brilliant. Love it. Um, I'm, all right. So I'm going to rapid fire at you. Ready? Okay, let's do it. All right. All right. So Josh from Wyoming says um, when doing videos, for all platforms, should you be editing and cutting and intro, outro and music? Like, should they be more just organic or should they be more uh, done up? Yeah, great question. So uh, for uh, Josh, good to see you brother. First thing I would say is uh, if it's on YouTube, it has to be done. It has to be done well. If it's on any other platform, get it out. Th that's Perfect. it, right? That's it. And, and I'd say that if, if you know that that person most platforms are mobile centric, go vertical as opposed to horizontal. Like I'd go vertical on everything uh, as opposed to horizontal. Love that. Um, is, there, is there a best place to post video or do you just post it to everything? Um, great question. So, so I would post video, uh, always post video on your primary platform. And once you post it on your primary platform, instead of, I wouldn't just copy paste that link. I would natively post that on each platform. So I'll, let's say you have a video and you upload it to Facebook. You take the same video, upload it to Instagram, same video, upload it to LinkedIn. As long as it's natively on those platforms, the platforms appreciate it. what they don't like. Like LinkedIn doesn't like it when you copy paste the URL of Facebook or YouTube in there because it feels like you, they take you away from that platform. So just as long as it's native on that platform, you're good to go, but make sure you post in the primary platform first. Love that. Do you boost your ads on Facebook? Great question. So here's what I do. Um, let's, you should come up with a schedule of what you post. So let's say you're posting three videos a week. Again, I'm making this up, right? Say you're posting three videos a week. You post the three videos a week on your Facebook business page. 
And if you have a personal page, share it to your Facebook personal page, not the other way around. Don't get it on your personal, share it, but post it on your business first, share it to your personal. At the end of the week, look at which of those videos got the highest views. If one of them got a significantly higher, like 100, 100, 700, what the world is telling you is that they like that. So I would then put $10 behind that video and boost it into your zip code. Only if you see one of your three videos completely outperform. If one of them didn't outperform, wait till one that outperforms, then put money behind that. Donkeys and unicorns, right? Exactly right. Um, so should you have hashtags in your bio? Okay, great question. Um, limit only, you should have hashtags in your bio, specifically on Instagram, only if it's directly related to your hashtag and only if it's your hashtag, right? I, there is no reason to have hashtag entrepreneur on yours because like, why? Now, yes, if you want to have one to get some search engine optimization around it, great. But I wouldn't flood it with hashtags, make it really specific. Maybe one to have it in there, but I would much rather you have more kind of a group of hashtags on a post that you can get more traction with that. Awesome. I think this is Mount Netty from Steamboat Springs. Thoughts on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, YouTube Live. There's so many options. Do you do all or do one? Okay, great question. So here's what, uh, I'll, let me give you the strategy. Um, the reason you, first we need to understand the reason to go live. So put YouTube live aside for now. Like that is for creators. Unless you, are, unless you have a crew and you wanna create, don't even go YouTube live. Uh, stay on Instagram or Facebook live. My suggestion would be this. I don't know which works better. So my suggestion would be for the next 90 days, uh, every Tuesday at noon, you're gonna go live on Facebook. Every Friday at noon, you're gonna go live on Instagram right? Download the videos after you go live and post them across the platforms. In 90 days, see which platform gets you more live, but gets you more views and do more lives on that. Like literally, that's all I would do. Awesome. Awesome. And let's see. Uh, yeah, there's Amelia. All right. All right. Well, they're, yeah, they're all kind of long lines. So, so what, what we might do you guys, um, there's, there are a ton of questions and not only you know, they're in the Q and A, but they're also in the chat box. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Um, Sharon, if, uh, if, if I sent you maybe a couple of questions yeah. or tagged you in, in yeah, on just, Facebook or something. I, just, just pull off all the questions for me. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll just look at the questions and I'll just, I'll just record a video of all the answers. Wonderful. Wonderful. Dude, you, you, you are so awesome. I, you all, I, like my phone is blowing up with how awesome this was. Um, I told you, I warned you, and, and I told you he was going to take off the gloves and bring the heat. Uh, he really brought some incredible content. Um, folks, it's recorded. Uh, the slides will have them. Um, so DM me, Sharon, and I'll make sure that you get the slides and everything. Uh, but here's the thing that, that I would ask you to do. One of the things that we do in, in all of us as leaders have made a commitment to doing is, is just pouring into everybody that we can pour into anybody that will even listen. We're just giving content and providing leadership. There are people that weren't on this call today. There are people in your communities. They, they may not even be in the real estate industry. They may own and operate the coffee shop. There are people that needed to hear this message. I ask that you share this message with them because what Sharon is doing is way too important for it to be just us. Okay. Awesome, man. All right, Sharon. Thank you so much, brother. Any, any closing words? No, man, I appreciate you. Hey, listen, you don't need to do this. Uh, and uh, you do, uh, you show up every single day to do this. And that's a testament of your cadence because your cadence is your credibility right now. And I appreciate you so much for doing that. And thanks for having me. All right. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day.